Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 series where today we are here still in the Mechanist Lair and I want to have a bit more of a chat with the Mechanist here if we can now. Hey, the quest. Oh, yes. If you have a I do! We. I was hoping to talk to you, though I was going to check if what Ada had to say first, but uh, yeah, go ahead. Sure, go ahead. Oh, good. I just wanted to say I'm really happy thankful that you've let me stick around here D and did i <laughs> in order to show you that i'm done with the past i want you to have this as a sort of promise i guess uh, it's okay. the mechanist suit i made and i'm now going to be tremendously overweight oh lovely okay fine i'll take it but yeah you have now caused me to be over encumbered lovely Oh yeah, oh, yeah. well actually it weighs not that much, only at a pound there. One charisma intelligence, uh, thank you. You really don't want it anymore. No, it's part of a past I don't want to dwell on. Fair enough, it's fair enough. It's time I move on. There's one more thing, a much bigger thing. Uh-huh. There are still robots out there. Lots of them. Of course there My are. My communications are down, and I can't call them back. But I can tell you where they are. If you're interested. Okay. Sure. Great. Oh, all right, all right. Yes. Yes. I'm picking up a signal. Okay. Be okay. Careful. Okay. All right. So we, now we have another set of missions. Rogue robots. Is that going to be a radial quest from her? Or radiant, not radial. <laughs> Wrong word there. I have a feeling that's what that's going to be. It's going to be her radiant quest of me just going and killing rogue robots. But, um... Okay, I, I guess. I mean, that's a thing. So let's, I guess, talk to Ada now, then. I was actually... Let's see if we can get more out of her. Can I talk to you about anything else? Come on. In case I haven't said it enough, I really am sorry about that. As you should be, my dear. So, oh, yes, excellent. We can. What started all this? The suit? The robots? It had to be something. Mm. You wouldn't understand. Try me. Try me. I can be pretty understanding. That's easy to say. I just didn't have much in the way of friends while I was growing up. Robots are all I've ever really had. Uh huh. Sparks was my very first creation. My very first real friend. The Depressing. General Atomics Factory originally drew me to the Commonwealth. I never expected to also find this entire military base dedicated to robotics. <laughs> but I did. So I did what I knew best. I built amazing robots and hoped to save the Commonwealth. And I guess you know the rest of that story. Oh yeah, you, you, uh, you pretty much messed that up. <laughs> Do you feel betrayed? What? Why would she feel betrayed? Do you feel like the robots betrayed you? Oh, because they didn't listen to her. In some cases, I feel like I betrayed myself. I look at everything I did and managed to accomplish just to screw it all up. I trusted my robots and my ability to program them to do good. And it all blew up in my face. Yes, and yes, yeah, it did. I better get back to doing something no no i want to know more can i can Excuse i talk me. to you continuously Thanks again for helping me try to make this right and uh, oh yes 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 so why the mechanist so tell me why the mechanist how'd you come up with that uh, uh, um, it's a little silly i found the idea this drawing at a ransacked caravan mm -hmm. it was like some sort of hero that someone had created <laughs> even made their own posters <laughs> so you copyright infringed them and decided i wanted to bring that hero to life it was too late to save that caravan but becoming the mechanist was my way of keeping hope alive <laughs> oh you messed that one up all this inspired by a drawing i know how it sounds but the only things i had besides robots were comic books i used to dream about being a hero really bethesda you're going down this route with this character together i thought the mechanist was the next logical step uh, 
damn it, Bethesda. Really? You had to go down that cliched route? Okay, well, now it's a symbol of terror. And now it's just a symbol of terror. Way to go. Right. Right. I'll just go about my business. No, oh, no, no, no. I still have more talking. You stand there, <laughs> Isabel. You'll run into more on your way there. They pose a bigger threat in larger numbers. Eh, not so much. So, you holding up? How are you doing? Dealing with all of this? Not bad, not good. Coming to terms, I suppose. Mm-hmm. That, that, that all? I'm sorry. I know this must be a real pain to deal with those robots. Man, there's more things to kill. Um, okay, so yeah, that seems to be all I can talk to her about, except for don't, don't worry, worry about this. I got this. I can't imagine how many more there must be out there. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, it's gonna be a Radiant quest. Okay, can we talk to Sparks? Sparks? You are, in fact, emanating Sparks, and I cannot speak to you. Lovely, okay, Ada, what do you have hey, now that this thing service? is over? Uh, talk. Ada, your return is a relief. I trust the outcome was what you wanted. My return? What, what? <laughs> Why why is why why is it my return? You've been here my this whole time with me. I got her to see the truth. She's standing down. So the mechanist really was misguided. Mm -hmm. Did she reveal her motives and reasoning? She did. Uh, bu -bu -bum 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 -bum. She truly wanted to help people. She didn't know what the robo brains were doing. To her a life saved was a life saved. A biological wild card. The unknowns are vast. Mm -hmm. She had to know the risk she was taking by creating them. Many good people endured suffering and death because of the Mechanist. It's a shame a mind as brilliant as hers allowed such atrocities to be committed. Too true, too true. Uh, dun 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 dun. She's good at heart. She made a mistake. A big one. And she'll live with that guilt. I believe I have a certain understanding when it comes to guilt. While it's not the justice I had hoped for, it will suffice. Still, I now know that the death of my friends has brought about a safer commonwealth. Indeed. Had the robots remained unchecked, I'm certain that damage would have been extensive, halting, if not reversing, any progress that has been made here. With this knowledge, I am finally registering feelings of satisfaction and accomplishment, and I have you to thank for it. Well, you're welcome. Uh, okay, complete restoring order. Is she leaving me now? Does she no longer want to be friends? She she appears to be leaving. Or not? Question mark? Oh no, I still have command of her. So I, I guess we're good then. I guess we're good. Ada is just now my new friend. Oh, along with these cute little bastards. Okay, so what do we have now then? This radiant quest. Rogue Robot. So let's go in, let's go do this real quick to see what it is. I am guessing that, yeah, it's just going to be a Radiant quest going over and over. But let's, uh, teleport here. That might be a bit close, but oh well, it should be fun. And see what these rogue robots are that we have to kill. Oh my, we're already eight minutes into things, so I don't know how much we're going to accomplish in this episode today. It may be a short one. It may indeed be a short one. But oh well, I've talked with the Mechanist, which was my primary goal for today, and... Yeah, since we don't seem to have any other quests from them... Oh! Oh, I know where we can go. Okay, after, after we do this, we'll head back to the castle and talk with Jezebel. She may have something for us. If not, that's probably the end of the Automatron DLC, as I think the rest of these will probably just be these Radiant quests, unless Jezebel has something new. Because Anna didn't seem to have anything to add, nor did the Mechanist herself. Where am I going? This way. Okay, where's the robot? Yeah, robot, robot, robot. Well, I hear gunfighting going on. I'm gonna need a light. Someone. Yes, someone? Someone like me? Take this, tank bot! Ah! Oop, he's trying to hit me. No hitting for you. Bad robot. Where'd Ada go? And, ooh! Ow, that hurt, but I did some damage to him, too. There we go. A little bit more. I keep forgetting to charge this thing when I shoot. Back away, he's exploded. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Rogue Robot, done. May as well take what we can. Yes, we'll and so now you show up. Mother. Now you show up. Oy. <laughs> All right, so I'm guessing I then need to head back to the mechanist? Or is that just complete? No, it's just complete. Huh. Huh. Well. I do like the M for that place. Let's head over to the castle then, since we don't have to head back to the mechanist. Yeah, I feel if we go back there, it's just going to be her handing us another one of those radiant missions. And meh to that. If not the case, guys, please do tell me in the comments if she actually does have further missions for us. But I feel like that is it for her storyline. Uh, so yeah, let's go down and talk at the castle and see if Jezebel has anything new for us, or what she thinks about the events which have now transpired. Hmm. Hmm. I have a feeling she's going to be disappointed I'm still alive. Okay, well, let's see what happens with her. Once we go through the loading screen, here we are, we're here. Beautiful. Ah, excellent, there she is, right there. And hello, Jezebel. At least now time to work on my pie to the last digit calculation. Well, that's going to take you a while. It's going to take you a long while. Haven't you already interfered enough? Go away. S s seriously? I can't talk... Oh, son of a... <laughs> I can't talk to her anymore. Oh my god, Jezebel, I hate you. What use are you then? How it... Oh, damn it, Jezebel. Can I, like, assign her to things? Hold on, let's open up the... Workshop mode? Why isn't it opening? Ah, yes, it would help once more to hit the right button. I always freaking do this. Okay, so I can assign her, I guess, maybe to something? Let's see if maybe Jezebel can become my shop attendant. I know I've already got one. Oh god, am I in the wrong section of the, the base? I am. I put up a sign in everything for the pharmacist right there. <laughs> a sign. Oh my god, she can! We can assign her to things. Alright, well, at least she's now gonna work for her supper. Or... Battery power? Question mark? <laughs> well, that's cool, though, so we can at least do that with her. Let's actually see if we can, in fact, buy things. Typical. Uh, oh god. Did I make her the doctor and now she won't actually do anything? Haven't you done enough to torment me already? Ah, <sighs> damn it, Jezebel! You are supposed to be the doctor now. Okay, she's come closer. Just go away. Haven't you done enough to torment me already? Why? Why would I be tormenting you? How in the world could I have tormented you? Damn it, Jezebel! Damn it, Jezebel! <laughs> okay, okay. Well, um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's because of the time of day it is. I know that the shops do have hours, so perhaps that's why. Oh god, I really want to test this, but I'm in power armor! Okay, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm getting out of the power armor. I need to test this. I need to know if Jezebel is actually of any use whatsoever. And I like to put my power armor up nearby one of the stations. There we are. Let's take out that fusion core. Don't want uh, one of my settlers getting in it. And then let us sleep till morning. Oh god, where once we sleep, it's probably gonna do the whole drop frames thing again, isn't it? Oh, and I am severely overweight. Oh yes, because of all that mechanist crap. <laughs> oh my, we are, we are very much overweight. Hmm, alright, well let's sleep. Hi people, how are all of you? Well, I hope. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sleep until... Yeah, that should be good. Past 8 a.m., she should be there in selling things. If, in fact, Jezebel can be used as a shopkeeper. If so, I will be a happy camper. Oh, God, look at the action points go down. All right, I have a plan that may help with the action points going down. Transfer. Oh, yes, we were carrying a lot of junk. Excellent. Okay, Jezebel, go to your shop. Very good. Very good. She is in position. Can we speak? Haven't you already interfered enough? Go away. <sighs> Damn it, Jezebel! 
Oh god, who did I have on that station before? Oh boy, I'm gonna have to find him and put him back there, because Jezebel is apparently a lazy, lazy person who does not want to work for her did- what the? I never noticed that that, <laughs> that staircase right there goes through the ceiling. Oh, lovely. You, Minuteman. I actually think you were the one who I had. Yes, you I were. I want to trade a few things. No, 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 no. I don't want to trade. Oh, wrong thing. Uh, gotta have workshop mode on. There we go. I'm just gonna jump off the ledge here. Beautiful. And over this way. And put you back on the shop because Jezebel is useless. Oh no. Oh no, it's not gonna let me. Oh god. What have I done? What have I done? <laughs> it's not gonna let me assign him to it. Oh, damn it. Oh, God. I'm gonna have to deal with this later. Okay, so what we're gonna do... <laughs> we're gonna go back to the Mechanist Lair and see if that is in fact a Radiant Quest. If we get it again... We might as well just go and do it and then be done with this episode, I think, because we it does only seem to be to kill a tank bot, which isn't too difficult to do. I'll deal with Jezebel later. Oh god, I have a feeling when we go into the Mechanist Lair, yeah, we're gonna get frame drops in here. Mm. Yeah, I still haven't found a good way to permanently solve this issue with the Automatron DLC, and I'm a little worried about it because... I mean, even once we're done with the Automatron DLC, I can't exactly just delete it from my game, because it's kind of an integral part of my storyline now. Oh boy, hopefully a patch in the near future saves it. Oh, hey! We're not, we're not, we're not glitching. Lovely. Awesome. Oh, so why did I go third person? I accidentally hit that button. Okay, oh god, I still need to go and salvage all these things. Oh boy. <laughs> that is a lot of robots to salvage. Meganist? What was her name again? Isabella? Oh god, am I over- I am over encumbered again. How am I over encumbered again? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. We had eaten some radstag meat. Hmm. <laughs> Damn it, mechanist armor. <laughs> Without that, we'd be fine. Do I have any other radstag meat? Oh, thank god I do. There we go. Isabella? Oh, here you are. Ready to start tracking down some robots? Apparently, yes. Come on, Isabel, let's talk. Are you tracking any more of your rogue bots? Uh, yes, I can. I mean, I am. I'll, I'll locate one for you. Yeah, excellent, as Ada pushes her way. Uh, yeah. Do you think there are any more out there? Well, it's hard to say. I wasn't keeping very close track of how many I released during my mechanist phase. Yeah, that would have been the smart thing to do. No, holy smokes, I'm tracking multiple bots. Be careful, okay? Holy smokes. <laughs> Who says that? You, apparently, my dear. Okay, rogue robot. Yep, it is just a Radiant Quest. Oh, lovely. I bought pod schematics? Well, I'm taking that. Cool. <gasps> Things. Oh, I didn't. I hadn't been back in this back area yet. Oh, look at all the mechanist posters. <laughs> Ooh, drawing of the mechanist. <gasps> Another robot. Ah, uh, it's gonna add more weight. <laughs> all right, you are all in my way. Oh my God, one of you move. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. So is this place just like? Is this a settlement now? Can we use this as a settlement? No, I am holding down V, and nothing is happening. I'm gonna take the mini nuke though. Lovely. <gasps> Another schematic. Spotlight schematic. Wall mounted spotlight. Cool. Uh, hmm. Oh, Ada, you can hey. carry things. Yes, ma'am. I I've not ha been having you carry things, have I? No. Look at that. You've just carrying those two things for me. Uh, carry this uh, mechanist armor. Ah, oh, thank god, now we're good again. Okay, can we- oh, we have fast traveled from here already. Where is this new... robot that needs killing? Oh yeah, multiple ones, multiple ones, lovely. Uh, yeah, we'll just teleport to Hangman's Alley and go take care of these guys. And then we'll be good to go. 
I think that'll be it for this episode. Once we do that, I think that'll be a good place to end. And yeah, so we'll finish it and not do any more of those probably ever. Because, yeah, just eh, Radiant Mission. Meh. <laughs> I, I tend to abandon those pretty quickly because I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of the idea behind Radiant Quest that you know you just do the same thing over and over. But oh boy, they put it in a different place with a slightly different thing happening, but not really that different. Only just very very slightly, but mainly a different place. <laughs> I just I don't get how developers think that that's good content. But, oh well, some people probably enjoy it. Let's actually get out another gun. Let's get out the... Pray and Spray. Or Spray and Pray, rather. Oh, I hear the battle raging. Let us go. And Ada, are you behind me? Oh, God, I don't think she has any more. <laughs> Ooh, there seems to be two over here. And one over there. But hi! Opening fire. Yes, you do that, Ada. Oh, oh, that's two of them. Okay, you stay away, buddy. Ow, that hurt. Well, at least that one explodes nicely. Ah, and Ada killed the other one. Beautiful, beautiful. Good job, Ada. I'm not. Jeez. Nag, nag, nag. Alright, let's take those and then hit this third. Actually, I think it'd be better to go around this way. Also, uh, yeah, we're going to go back to this thing. It seems to do more damage to them than the spray and prey. Because that, that just, uh, it seems to waste more ammo than be useful. Against robots, at least. Fleshy things, it actually does pretty decently. Are you inside? Hi! Ha! <laughs> oh, I do like this gun. Boom! And it's dead. There we go. And another rogue robot level completed. And we've leveled up. Glorious, glorious day. So yeah, that I think is going to be it for this episode, folks. Eh, really not much else for us to do. And with at 22 minutes... Uh, yeah, I, I just, there's not really anything we could do within the 8 minutes that I like to keep these episodes within of 30. So... Yeah, that'll be it for today, and also it for the Automatron DLC. If any of you guys know of something that I'm missing in the Automatron DLC, definitely inform me. But otherwise, this is going to be the last episode of this, and the next we'll get back to the main storyline and uh, have fun with that. But yeah, that is going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.